Hello everyone and welcome to tonight's uh, let's play of Glasgow Subway. So for those who don't know, uh, Glasgow Subway has just uh, released today. Um, and uh, what I thought we're going to do is um, we'll do a full run of the um, uh, outer circle. Um, so we'll, we'll do a full run. And uh, <clears throat> and then we'll uh, we'll have a look at the uh, sort of how to get the so we can so I can show how to get the unit actually running, um, both on automated and on manual. Um, and yeah, so we'll we'll have a good stream of that. I'm very well, chat. How are we all doing? How are we all? Who's been looking forward to this? Because I certainly have. Um, right. So let's do an outer circle. So we're at uh, Bloom, um, uh, let me just see, there was something I was going to do first, um, hang on, oh, blast, never mind, that's alright, I'll have a look for that in a bit, uh, glass, okay, right, let's do an outer service, uh, outer circle service even, Hi British Ace, how are we doing? Here we are, so we're going to start, we're in the uh, in the cab here, which I must admit is a lovely cab. It says, good morning, today your train will uh, form service 14 on the outer circle. Pay your train and drive in manual mode to depot line 2 where you will change cabins and reverse your first station stop to govern. Uh, be careful to slow down on the approach and ensure that the whole train is in the platform at govern before opening the passenger doors close this window to begin. So what we need to do first is we are in manual mode so we need to put it into forward we need to make sure we've got our headlights on uh, turn off our ha handbrake, turn on the saloon lights, it should be off. The train next to us will be starting off as well. I'm just going to slow down a little bit so we don't come through the... There you go, look at that barrier. Doors now open. Giving us a wave. And I'll open the windows, which also, uh, if I show you this, you can actually see them move and click. There you go, we've got the windows open now. Can everybody hear the game all okay and hear me okay? Look at that. Here's the unit. Just uh, get rid of that. Look at that. Really, really lovely looking unit. And also, we're running in parallel as well, so we've got two of us together. Make sure. The other thing I need to do is turn on the instrument lights. So you now got the instrument lights on. Um, the other thing I need to do is turn on the headlamp, uh, which shows that, uh, there you go, is that little white light, look at this, look, that's brilliant, look at that. That's just to show that there is actually a driver in the cab, um, and shows which end you're controlling from. So when we get to stop here and reverse back, um, I'll turn off the headlamp. Three car marker. Right, let's move to the other end. There we go. And do the same again. Right, we're still in manual as well. Uh, so we can open the windows again in here. Turn the headlight. Headland on. There we go. Well done, now we need to, um, drive to Govin. Right. Right. Just make sure I haven't got anything else. Um, I need 
switch on. Let's just come over here. Nope, we're all okay. Let's just do a little bit of braking and we can go down in the tunnel together then. Look at this. Also can open the front door. Look at that. Where's the other train? No parallel run. Into the tunnels. So what you'll notice is when we go into into the tunnels, uh, we've now got this lit area. Look at this. This is quite amazing here. So this is the junction between the inner and the outer. Um, now originally this used used uh, didn't used to be here. Um, originally they had to the lines were together. And then in this little cavern here, which is where we were upstairs in the uh, was where they used to live, lift the old locomotives uh, or the original units up and down. That was the original uh, lift shaft up there. Which, when we do the next scenario, I'll show you. Uh, should be able to show you where that is. Another unit arriving. What we'll do is we'll I will go into automatic after this. So what we'll do is open the doors. If I go into the there we go. Look at this. So now in the in the cab area. There we go. Look at that. There we are. That's a bit better. So we're now at Govan. So, we now have an auto drive permit as shown on the desk to enable ATO, which is automatic train operation. Move the reverse to notch A, then push the throttle brake uh, controller fully forward to the P notch. You now use auto start buttons to proceed uh, around the route um, between stations. Please remember to stop at each, stop at every station and lay passengers aboard. If you wish to continue in manual mode, then you can. However, this will be a challenge. So what we'll do is we'll go into automatic. Let me go into my right spot now. There we go. So go into automatic, which is this A on the reverse here, as you can see. Pull it into fully forward, and then you'll see there's an auto button here. Press that. You can see the light now come on. And there we go. Now we can just sit back, relax. Also, uh, you've got your PA system. Automatic next stop. There we go. Uh, TM, I think one of the reasons why, uh, I'm guessing you're saying about London Underground, one of the reasons why Glasgow was went to automatic, um, I think when, when it was rebuilt, I mean this was rebuilt obviously in the 70s, so if you, if you remember that sort of um, before then, uh, the Underground would have still been sort of 19, 19 uh, still earlier stock. Um, so the, basically this whole network would have had a rebuild. This is the old station, so you can go, look at that. That's Merkland uh, Street, 
just before Partrick, so that's the original station. And we're now coming into. There you go. Look, I'm not touching anything, so the unit should stop itself. There we go. I can open the doors here. The doors are now open. Uh, now, one of the things you'll notice that the passengers aren't moving up and down the platform. Um, this was due to um, the gradients. If you have a look at the gradient profile of, uh, or you, you, you play the route, you'll notice that it's got very, very heavy gradients. Um, it's very, very a roller coaster of a route, um, which, if you've known TS, will have issues. You know, the passengers will end up going through the floor. Uh, let me just put auto on. There we go. There we go, and we're off. Um, so uh, the passengers were put in, but it was interesting because um, uh, there's also another set of uh, in the um, when we get to the next station, I'll open the door, close the doors a couple of times, and you'll see the changes in the cab. Um, uh, uh, not in the cab, sorry, in the passenger view, which you can view from the cab. Um, that's a little interesting thing. Let's do our PA again. so we can see what we're doing. There we go. Uh, and also what you do is you're keeping an eye um, on the train and make sure that it actually stops in the right spots, which is what they, they would do in real life. Um, you've got to open the doors, keep an eye on your timings. So if I now go in the passenger view, Go. So, and then open the doors. We should see a change. Is anybody going to change? Or are we going to get someone added in here? There you go, there was a change. There we go. Look at that. So, we've now got a different selection. I think there was 15, I think, from what Alan had said. Um, but, they, you know, you've got different, diff um, different selects of uh, how they turn up uh, the people. Right, let's go back into the cab. Right, and then all I have to do is auto again. 54. Heel head, next. Uh, Bay being kid, I'll show you in a bit. Um, we'll go halfway round and then we'll go, I'll do some in manual. Um, it's rather interesting. Um, it's all about the timings. Um, uh, the good thing about even in manual, the train will keep an eye on its speed, so you, you can never really speed on here, um, um, but you do need to keep an eye on your stopping points, because as I said, it's so up and down, um, you, um, um, you need to keep an eye on your sort of station stops, because they come up quick. Uh, and also, yeah, thank. Uh, so also, uh, N key. Uh, when you press the N, you can sit in the passenger view um, and uh, press the N key, and you can also start with that. There you go. You can see it's not quite got to the end of the platform. So we'll stop here. Open the doors. So this is a hill head. Also, one of the very unique sort of platforms. Uh, when the line was rebuilt, um, a lot of the stations were only sort of a single island platform um, with the doorway going up. Um, actually, some of them originally never even had fire exits. You just had a one in and one out, um, uh, way in and way out sort of uh, um, thing. So this is one of the unique stations that they had the rebuild where you had uh, the longer platform on one side. All right, should we do a? And we're off. Uh, yes, you can. So if I go and sit in the auto in the passenger view, so I'm now sitting in auto mode. 
Um, I'm not now pressing anything or doing anything. Um, so in theory, we should be able to get along and the train will stop by itself. Uh, so we're now at Kel near uh, Kelvin Bridge Outer. And when we get to Kelvin Bridge, uh, I will uh, show you the map. So again, I'm not doing anything. The train brakes are now coming on. And it's now stopping by itself. We're now coming into Kelvin Bridge. There we go. Open the doors. So here's the full loop. So this is the depot we came out of. And as you can see, the depot is actually on top of where, so as I said before, um, where you had that little section uh, where we were, uh, and I said that they used to lift the old uh, units up um, uh, from the depot. Um, and these are the exchange sort of um, sidings for the, uh, to get into the depot. Right, let's do your auto again. There we go, we're off. So one of the one of the interesting things uh, around uh, the Glasgow subway was originally the line was cable driven. Um, so we used these wooden bodied um, uh, coaches, and they were all cable driven. I think this was around about until the 1920s, 1930s, um, and was then converted to electric. Um, the uh, the actually the original units kept going um, until uh, around uh, 1970 1980, which is amazing. Um, so much so that the actual the body started to bow with the curve because it, obviously it's so steep and up and down. It was you know the uh, yeah the the, the the coaches started to sort of, sort of go curved almost, you know. Some very interesting videos out there. Um, oh, thank you, Chris. Yes, 1977. Yep, thank you. Um, very, very interesting history um, about the Glasgow subway. We go. Right, open the doors here. So now it's in George's Cross. Oh, 1933. I knew I was... I'd, I'd watched a video about it all, and I was trying to remember the exact date, so thank you. And it's off. Now into Cowcaddens. So when we get to uh, Anik, uh and uh, Anak Outer will go into manual. So you see the train is automatically slowed down because there's an 18 uh, kilometer um, curve here. There you go. Also, something you've got to remember is this route is all in kilometers, not in miles an hour. Um, as I think it's one of the only places, apart from the uh, HS1, uh, 
is one of the only places that actually uses kilometers an hour rather than miles per hour. There you go, there's another train. As you can see, there's a heavy gradient coming into the station. do is we'll come into there, put it back into manual mode, and when the doors are shut then I'll do a couple of manual stops. I've never done the Glasgow subway before, I must admit it does look really good. So let's go into parallel. And we're off. So I'm now running in manual. There's actually a manual challenge as well, um, which if you want to have a go at that. Um, so you can see, even though I'm in uh, manual mode, the train has braked and hasn't allowed me to go over 35 um, because of this the tight curves now. But do keep an eye on what your unit's doing. Yeah, it is, David. Very, very accurate. I must admit, I've been looking at videos and pictures. It's amazing. Um, Alan's done a fantastic job on it. There we go. So there's the 50. So one of the things when you're in manual mode, make sure when you've actually stopped the unit that you're in full brake application as well. So you can see I haven't quite done it there, and you can see that it's can uh, because it, we're sitting on a gradient. I get all the doors open there, that's the answer. Oops. Did I actually get in all the platform? Oh, nearly. Nearly. It's, as I said, it's, it's trying to work it out. You will get there with manual. There is a challenge mode, I must admit, and it's great fun. Um, here's, a, here's a question for chat. How would you like us at one point to have a go at doing the challenge together? Sort of like, uh, sort of like how we do the um, TSW challenges. And see if we can do something similar, but with uh, Glasgow Subway. Uh, Nico, yes, yeah, it's fifty. Uh, it's four foot gauge. This is. I'm not sure, Danny. I'm, I think he should. You see, we're dipping down here. And you can see the gradient. We're now on 1 in 29. And then almost, then we do a complete flip. We're now on a 1 in 26. a lot better. So as you can see, if I look at the platform, you can see how curved it is. 
in the sense of you know so this is the midway point you're looking down that way and down that way if you actually do look down the tunnels I mean there's a curve in that one sometimes you can actually see the light from the other station you know a bit further up right running a little bit behind now but easily done Going under the Clyde at the moment. Oh, hello. Put too much braking force down there, never mind. One in one in twenty one gradient there. See the island platform there. Originally, some of the stations didn't even have this sort of uh, with the lights. They just had it open because it was built so it was um, what we call a cut and cover uh, railway. So obviously, it was quite uh, um, not very uh, uh, far from sort of um, the surface. Um, so a lot of the stations um, used to have sunlight coming through them. Right, let's put it back into auto mode. Next stop, West Street. Uh, Baby Kid, it's because of, uh, I think it was one of the reasons was cost. Um, they, they tried to do it sort of the cheapest route possible and all, as I said it was cut and cover so they it was um, um, uh, it was quite an easy way of doing it also um, there was a lot of railways to get under so you, if you look at Glasgow there's a lot of um, suburban lines and also under the Clyde so we had to go under and over the Clyde um, well go over the Clyde but go under the Clyde, Clyde um, um, next to other railways and bits and pieces um, so yeah it had a lot of dipping and uh, uh, t to get to where it needed to be yes it does yeah go put it back into auto there we go and we're off again yeah so uh, a little bit more history so it opened on the 14th of December 1896 um, 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 but it was actually in 1936 was renamed the Glasgow Underground so it's had a couple of names so uh, which is quite interesting. Uh, as I say, it has um, uh, 15 stations as well. Um, so we're now at Shield, near Shields Road.
Thank you. It's basically one thing interesting with the units. Uh, they normally so it's a normally a double paired unit so so you've got the two car and then they normally add an extra one on the front. There we go. I'm not doing very well on my points. Also, you'll notice with the tunnel, um, you'll also notice that there's different um, styles. Uh, so you'll see sort of like the iron style, um, um, but you also see brick built tunnels as well. Oh, was there a proposed Manchester Underground? I never knew that. Stop, Cessna. Do, 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 do. Who has the route already and who has been enjoying it already? I must admit, it's something very, very different um, than we've ever had before. Also, you have a little uh, train number here, uh, which is 14, um, and you'll see you hover uh, near the number. Um, you can actually change the number it's on at the front. Um, so, just, there we go. It's 15, like next service number, uh, and then you can go the other way, so back down to 14. There goes the brick bolt. Says no. Next shot will be Ibrooks. Next stop, Ibrooks. back out to the depot then and we've done a full circuit then Let's 
And also you can hear the train announcements, which I think is fantastic. Uh, I think it's certainly something different. There you go. As I said, with iBrooks, you got the uh, it's again, you got two platforms here. As we terminate our service here at Ibrox, returning to the depot, we must now disable automatic train operation. Uh, first, we turn the throttle brake to, uh, to full, brake notch, and then move the reverser into marked F. You can now drive to depot line 1 in manual mode. Right. So, let's put that back to full, put that back to F. Go, and there's our signal and D for depot. There we go, look at this. So there's the crossover track. Now originally the line never had a crossover, you had they were actually separate tunnels. Um, so there was no way of getting them into the depot, as I said. So the only way you could get them in, uh, get them in and out, was by lifting them up. Uh, baby and kid, the train will. Um, uh, the, basically, the um, so in manual mode, you get a uh, uh, speed limiter. Uh, stops you from speeding. If you're in manual mode, obviously you'd have to keep an eye on your signals. Um, but in automatic mode, it would stop you um, uh, from running the red signal. Yeah, coming up to the surface now. See that was the line we left on and you see we've done a full circle and we're now coming in on the other bit. Yeah, it's very well done, Colby, definitely. So I had lots of different technology put in, uh, new technology to make the route work. Um, it's quite amazing really, um, what Alan has done. So normally when we'd be running, um, you normally have your green lights, um, but as you can see, because we're going just into the depot, depot lights come on on your shun signal. So we're now going into 19, now if we put it into shunt, it will just go to our correct speed. As you can see, all the passengers are emptied as well.
can see the door is open as well. Yeah, they are definitely. Everything about this is is, is really well done. It's a, it's a lovely room. Um, so as you can see, we're now going over um, the original line now. So the um, obviously this this open area never used to be here before, but this depot part did here this small part of the depot um, and as you can see there's a slight building there now the reason for that is is this is the original lifting house so when they used to lift the units up uh, we'll do a quick slowdown so we uh, don't hit the um, just give a whistle there you go there's our door open Go. We're now in the main depot area. Let me just do a slow. And this was the original lifting part, so the railway is directly underneath us. So if I just quickly dive down, oh no, there isn't my hand. How would you do that? There we go. Let's do a nice controlled stop there. So yeah, they used to lift the original units up from here, and this is why you've got these two massive beams either side. Look at that. arrived in the depot. Well done driver, that was a successful journey. So there we go. Right. What we're going to do next is uh, there's a little scenario um, which is called service disruption which shows you a bit of the signalling. Um, also gives you a little bit of different running so you have to run on the opposite tunnel uh, to come back on yourself um, and we'll do that next um, so yeah let me just move over to the screen go. So service disruption. So this evening your train will form service one on the inner circle. As another inner circle service is experiencing technical issues at Ibrox, you're starting a passenger service at Govan. Pay your train and drive in manual mode to depot line two, where you'll change cabins and reverse to your first station stop at Govan. Be careful to slow down on the approach and ensure that the whole train is in the platform at Govan before the, uh, opening the passenger doors. Um, close this window to begin. Right. So let's put the headlights on, instrument lights on, that one on, parking brake off, saloon lights on, uh, into manual, put it into shunt. Uh, I'm not sure. I've never been to Glasgow. Uh, it's on the to-do list. You see our service one board has come up.
I'm really enjoying it, Cyclone. Very much so. Uh, it's, it's something very different. Uh, it's nice that you can just sort of sit back and enjoy an automatic mode, but you've also got that challenge of manual mode. It's something that I think we, uh, I need to have a go at properly and do all the stations in, in manual mode. Nico, blimey. Wow. Right, need to change cab ends now. Put it back into forward. Put the headlights on all dim instrument. So as you can see, uh, it should now not change. Well done, move your rear to camera and drive for fashion to stop at Govan. So you see what we'll do is we'll now cross over to the other side and go down the wrong tunnel. Um, oh no, it's further down. I'm getting this confused. Yeah, we cross over on the crossover down there, not up here. My bad. Dipping down. Here comes an up train, look at that. over and here's the bottom of the lifting house as I said before here it is it's the bottom of the lifting house Keep an eye on your speed, because we've got a red signal now keeping up on us. Because now basically going wrong road on ourselves. Ends. There we go. Now we can put it into automated. Ibrox next stop. So as long as you've got this auto permit on, you'll see that light. Make sure that's on before you go into automatic. And that's when you've set it to auto drive.
There we go, and there's the auto drive settings. Set your throttle. There we go. There we go. Now we're in auto. Lovely. So this will show how the unit now reacts to a red signal. So as you can see I'm now driving in auto mode, not touching anything, put both hands up, not touching anything, no warning, here's the other units. So that's now halted. Now if you're in manual mode, uh, obviously you'd get no warning, so you'd have to keep an eye on your signals. But this is really one of the only independent signals. So most of the other signals uh, are at the stations. Um, um, so you don't have a signal between station to station, apart from between Ibrooks and uh, Govan, uh, which is where the uh, junction for the depot is. We just wait for our red signal to clear. And then in automatic mode it will just drive off. Ibrox next stop. Do 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 There you go, there's our green. I haven't done anything, I haven't set anything, and we're now off again. There you go, and there's our lights say auto early. So all, when auto early shows up, that means you've got a red signal in front of you. Which we have. So even if I do press uh, auto start um, when our passengers are, are cleared, it won't do anything um, until you have cleared the signal. For our red signal to clear. Also, notice with the hinges on the door, which is brilliant. Look at that. Watch this. There you go. Look at that. There you go, and there's our signal. So we're now about to dip under the uh, the railway that used to um, 
be the uh, railway to Princess Dock. Latches, uh, you know what I'm, you know, bait being kid, you know what I meant. Another red signal. And there's also early again. So as you can see, uh, also these signals are quite amazing because they even have the padlocks on them. Look at that, look. I think that was amazing, they have padlocks on the signals. Doesn't it, David? I must admit, it's a brilliant route. Um, it, it's brilliant to drive. It's, it's, you know, the fact that you've got both automatic and manual. Um, you've got the manual challenges as well. Um, it's, it's a brilliant route to add to, to, you know, to your collections, you know, of routes that you've got. You know, it's, it, I love it. It's really different. Here goes our green signal. So as soon as the doors are shut. I don't know, bait being kid. I don't think so. Um, it's probably just the way they've designed uh, the the uh, Glasgow subways designed them. I think. Oh, is that what uh, anti tamper? Okay. Uh, Liam, yes, yes, I did enjoy that. Uh, it looked looked like it was good fun. Yeah. So, so for the signals, I think the the anti tamper. Uh, so that's why they've got padlocks on them, so people don't tamper with them, basically. Here on also early again, so as soon as we stopped, open the doors. I like that, how you can go up the stairs a little bit, there you go, look at that. At least you know with which way you need to go within or an outer circle, I must admit, it's quite a clever way of... He does cyclone, yes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, well David, it's currently uh, on sale at the moment, so... Um, uh, Glasgow Subway has a discount at the moment and it's currently 14.99 instead of 19.99 and that offer ends on the 5th of May have we got our auto signal yes we have how have you Liam oh wow
So you see it reduced our speed there uh, for the speed restriction. Uh, we're now going under the old line to Terminus uh, Key. Let me see we dip down there. Well, also with the uh, automatic uh, train operating system, so you've got these, which are your um, sort of, uh, it's a bit like AWS in the sense of it's sort of like a magnetizer, so it, the train basically runs over this, and it tells you, um, sort of tells what speeds and bits and pieces and what signals, etc. Um, you have, um, so this, I think there's one, is it? one on this side. There it is. That's the one I'm thinking of. So you can see it says auto train uh, stop and it says zero. Uh, so that means that you need to, you know, the automatic system needs to stop the train within that distance. Again, it's dropping us down again to West Street Inner. As you can see, it's dropping us down to 35. Go around this curve. Again, the auto early has come up, so we've got red signal again. Change our, probably change our speed limit again, possibly. Oh, and this is where the old winding route was for the cables. Uh, so when this was a cable run. Uh, railway. Um, this is where the, the winding rooms were. Now I've got. There we go. Look at that. If you've got any questions uh, for um, for Alan, uh, please put them in the chat because uh, I'm currently he's uh, currently talking to me um, uh, through uh, uh, through a chat. So if there's any questions you have, please put them in the chat and I can ask. Yeah, it's Liam, I'd say it's a little bit similar to Pizza B Magnet. There we go. Oh, hang on. I opened the doors again, didn't I? Uh, it's the transfer, I think they give the data basically, Liam. Just open the doors again, never mind. That's okay. We'll run a little bit behind, it doesn't matter. Uh, Alva, I had a fry up tonight. Yeah, train simulator driver, yeah, I, I'm guessing you'd have to duck your head. 
Hi Amelia, yes I'm really enjoying them tonight, I must admit it's a great route. Um, it's, it's something different to show as well. Have you enjoyed it, British Ace? Because I know you've done a stream, haven't you? Did you enjoy uh, Glasgow Subway? Oh, that's good British Ace, that's good. So we're going under the Clyde again, and now coming back up. Just using ATO, so just using the automatic train system. That's what I'm using. So there we go. That is Glasgow Subway. Um, so we've done a bit of the inner circle. We've done the outer circle. Uh, full run of the outer circle. Showing you a bit of service disruption. Um, showing you the uh, the yard as well. Um, so yeah, uh, as I said, it's uh, it's uh, available now. Um, it's uh, currently at fourteen ninety nine, um, uh, and the offer ends on the fifth of May. So make sure you go and pick it up. Uh, I'd highly recommend it. Um, you know, you get 15 stations. Um, uh, it's a short route, but it's it's very fun. Um, I'd like to see what other people come up with with scenarios for workshop um, for Steam Workshop, because uh, I must admit that bit look really good as well. Um, as I said, there's a lot of new technology in there. Um, uh, you know, with the automatic train system and things like that. Um, so it's it's very very different to a lot of things. Um, uh, yeah, um, just really, really good. Uh, um, I really enjoy it. Um, so there we go. Uh, hope you enjoyed this anyway. Um, I think that is the last stream for this week, isn't it? I think, from what I remember. <laughs> yes. So we are, um, so we'll have the streaming schedule out soon for next week. Um, but there we go. Uh, make sure you go and get this uh, and uh, uh, have some fun with the route. I really enjoyed it um, and it's it's great fun. So take care everyone and I'll see you all very soon. Take care. Bye bye.